Welcome back Tandem users to our last quarterly update video of 2023. Q3 was chock full of great updates, so let's get started. First off, streams and connections have received several updates that users can start taking advantage of to more easily bring asset data into their digital twin. Starting at the beginning, we now have a single dialog box for creating connections. Here, users can create a single connection and classify it batch create using the provided template, and import from Azure. Following that, we've enhanced our configure connections dialog box. There are two info icons that explain in more details how the mapping for that column works. We also provided an example payload before selecting a connection from the dropdown. Under the summary tab, there is a list of all parameters and their mapping. Click the X to remove the mapping, and then to see the full picture, expand the window to full screen. With the connections created and streams receiving data, selecting the connection opens the Properties panel. The Properties panel outlines all the information for that connection, including what element is the host, what room it has been associated with, and what system it belongs to as seen under the Relationships section. The not-so-obvious update for relationships is that changes made to the host field are now logged and visible in the facility history. Also in the Properties panel, the last reading for each stream is listed. These parameters are intentionally kept out of the filter panel, given these parameters are used in a different manner compared to others utilized by the twin. Newly added, we have a single endpoint webhook per facility. This simplifies the ingesting of data for all available streams, which can also be reset. Please keep in mind that this will regenerate a new URL and will break the integration until the URL is updated in the connecting system. Now, filtering charts is easier. Select one or multiple parameters in the charts panel to compare parameter values for different connections for a specific time frame. And, in case you missed it from our previous video and updates, hovering the cursor over the open chart and scrolling up and down increases and decreases granularity. Zooming in enough will show the raw data for the stream. For some smaller updates, deleting a system is now directly in the systems panel rather than in a hamburger menu, which has been removed from this tab. Also, we recently released systems tracing, which we highlighted in a previous forum post. Follow the link provided to learn more and see all that this feature can do. Finally, for free accounts, we've implemented a 14-day limit on data history for charts. Learn more at the link provided. Enjoy all these updates and tell us what you think in the comments below.